Hello, back. <clears throat> I'm back. I've got a nice uh, special effect here going on with my water glass. Um, so I am continuing to think about um, getting up a little higher in my voice range um, today, but doing it in a very gentle way. So go ahead and start out with um, broadening through your shoulders. Inhale. This space right here, big lot of space in front of you, and also the idea that you're not leaning forward, you're leaning back, letting everything kind of come to you so that once you're comfortable, you can present what you need to present. So let's just take the baby soft spot line here, pull up slightly, breathe out. Think about side to side space, inhale. Out through your mouth, steady streams. And then just kind of gentle side to side um, to explore that range. And I like to quickly just stretch each of my postural muscles here. Kind of opening up here in the front muscle. Not just the side, but also this front part. Mm -hmm. And then, mm, nice. And then just drop your head for a second. Go ahead and feel around for your voice box. It's in there. I'm gonna shake my head out a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. I'm gonna do a full shoulder roll actually, forward, up, and back, and down. Mm, so nice. Um, I'm sitting on a couch, which isn't, I sink into it a bit, and so I'm, I'm sitting cross-legged on the couch. Another really good thing is just to put a really nice firm pillow under your butt, if you have one, and you wanna be on the couch, just because it helps you to get out of the sunk in you know, we want, we don't want to be in our shoulders. We want length here, right? So if you're hunching like this, pull out of that, shoulders down, slight tuck of your chin to get your nice C shape here. All right, another big inhale and then exhale breath out. So I don't know if you're noticing this, but I'm sporting my TR909 shirt, which my partner designed and it is on T Public and Redbubble. For sale, um, Rogers Dameron. I love it. It's this, the poly blend. It's like it's like a pajama shirt. Um, but I didn't wear this for pajamas. Just so you know, I, I, you know, it's YouTube after all. So, just hum. Put your lips together. Drop your jaw. Do a little chewy, chewy motion with your lips together on this note with me. I want to thank Elizabeth McCullough for introducing me to chewy hums. Hers were of like the variety where you'd part your lips and do slides through a fifth. So from E to A, let's say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice, nice way to keep your jaw open. Um, I'm using that idea to just explore this note right now. Mm, drop jaw. Mm, keep lips together though. Inhale. Mm, chew motion. Mm, and shake it out. Mm. Okay, now gently we're going to slide up to the upper A. So we did this already a little bit yesterday. It's the same day for me, but yesterday for you. Okay. I'm noticing with my mouth closed, it's harder for me to be soft up here in the higher octave. So I'm actually going to go back to an ooh shape, tongue forward. Ooh, and I'm going to go uh, very gently. So I'm starting down here on this lower A, 110, and I think it is, and then up to A220. It's fine if you don't know what that means. And also that's not, I don't, it doesn't matter what it means right now. I didn't mean to make that sound so magical and mysterious. It's just me being a weirdo. Okay, 
That's third, let's do a third one actually. So really gentle inhale. Exhale just to get your shoulders down to set. Now we inhale, one more slide. I actually want to do one more and focus on a very slow slide up. So don't go up fast from ooh to ooh, just nice and slow. So ooh. right? Just go until your air runs out of there. Now we're up there. Let's do a couple of just um, woes on that one note. So breathe in. One more. Now, real quick, if you're having trouble with that onset of that note, because and this feels high for you, remember you can always go back to the note onset of going. Okay, so one more. I also notice if I'm running out of air, it's because I'm singing too loud. So really, like I'm sort of projecting towards my um, towards my my camera here, my my phone. Um. The spirit of this whole exercise though actually is let them come to you. You're singing to yourself or you're, or you're vocalizing to yourself or before you talk to anyone else, first you talk to yourself and you, and you work out what it is you're trying to say, right? Or sing, whatever the case is. So I'm gonna go a little bit in right here and just do, and sorry, I'm gonna do that exercise softly but steadily to myself twice with a nice long inhale. So I'm setting up for it by just releasing tension. Here we go, two of these. And as you see, I was going who, and I sort of ran out of air. You sort of heard it fade away. It was like, so I still had air coming out, but it wasn't vibrating my voice box. And so essentially there's a, um, there's a little bit of a, um, balance between I don't want to push out too much hair but I want to make sure that I'm having a steady enough stream that my voice box is vibrating but of course it isn't just air it's me not having tension right that also allows my voice to vibrate so I'm going to do a little bit more of a sigh on this note so I breathe in you can drop it at the end just try to meet me at this pitch as you sigh out case actually using the sigh out image is helping me to move air across my voice box so I'm gonna actually just focus on that for right now for that for just a minute here so I'm gonna breathe in through my mouth actually you can drop it down at the end or not two more of those and while I'm ooing I'm making sure my tongue's forward and then I'm just thinking about opening in, in my throat. So dropping my jaw and kind of getting into the yawn space. Oh, like that. So. Last one. So one thing I just learned just now is that when I think that I'm going to do a big sigh, it's sort of the opposite of what I said, where I said, sing to yourself. When I said that, I didn't take in as much air because I was like, well, I'm going to be singing softly. I don't need the air. Not so. When I went back to thinking about sighing, something that gives me relief and natural relaxation, I, I was using my air a lot better. So now what if I just took the idea of that big breath for a yawn space, and then I just applied it to a softer note. So I'm going to do a nice big breath. Exhale more softly. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's perfect. I think I need to do some more exploring with that, but it definitely mm -hmm. felt like my my ooh, my soft ooh was way longer. I had a lot more air behind it. 
I almost felt like, you know, I had to control it. Um, I had a lot more air I could have used, but I was trying to sing softly. So I was, I was purposely thinking about, well, let me not let all this big air come out softly. So try that with me. Do a nice big size if you're going to do a yawn, like a big, sorry, nice big inhale. So, and then just instead we'll do a little soft steady thing. And then. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna keep exploring that as my exercise. I'm gonna keep working on taking sort of um, big-minded, expansive breaths. And again, I'm trying to breathe acro um, across into my heart space and even below into my diaphragm. And then think, steady stream. And find space while I'm singing. That's why I keep going like this and this, whatever. I'm gonna do that a few times because I'm curious what I can do as far as a sustained, rather soft, rather high note. Right now, the one I'm working on is A, I think I'm up to 440, A440. So if you see on YouTube, you can Google um, A220 and get a lower A. Or you can get Google A440 and get Ooh, I'm singing. Um, it's the same note that the oboe does to tune the orchestra. That's why you might hear A440 getting thrown around a lot. Um, it just is a frequency measure of what that note is, like the wave speed. Um, that's all it is. It's not like a ma this magical thing. And it's not even something that you need to think about a lot as a performing musician. Um, you do if you use a tuner, you'll look down and see the 440 sometimes and you know when things go sharp or flat. But for those of you who are not worried about um, like tuning your instrument. Even if you play the piano, you don't need to worry about um, frequency and wave speed and things like 440. It's just that if you're gonna Google a tone on YouTube, um, it's helpful to see what you're looking for. So if you have a lower voice, A220 Hertz, HZ, A220 HZ tone. If you have a higher voice or you like a higher reference tone, A440 HZ tone, A440 Hertz tone. That is gonna give you the ability to turn the volume down. Don't be fighting the volume when you're singing. You're gonna strain your voice, turn the volume down, play the tone or sit at a piano if you have one or get an app on your phone that produces signals. And you can just be walking around on the street in your mask going practicing getting that space throughout the day. And um, no one will know where the sound is coming from because that's not a normal thing to do. Okay, have fun. <laughs>